My name is Roger Berliner, and I have been privileged to represent the good people of Bethesda, Chevy Chase, and Potomac for the past four years. And I am grateful that the voters have returned me to the council for another term. Like many of you, my family moved here decades ago because of the superb schools, the wonderful neighborhoods, and beautiful parks. My children graduated from Whitman High School. My dogs and I enjoy the CNO Canal almost every day, and we cannot spend enough time in downtown Bethesda. We love it here. In my first term, I worked hard on your top priorities, fiscal responsibility, a sustainable future, and preserving our wonderful quality of life. I fought for lower taxes, more transit, a cleaner, healthier environment, better Pepco service, and funds to modernize our overcrowded schools. You have faced difficult economic times, and our county has as well. And if we are to meet our fiscal challenges, we must do it the old-fashioned way, living within our means. You have my commitment that I will continue to advocate for taxing less, spending less, and growing our tax base. When we count our blessings in Montgomery County, high on the list is the quality and reputation of our public schools. That is why the school system is my number one budget priority. I take pride in the close and productive relationship my office has developed with the PTA community, and in these difficult budget times, that close working relationship will be even more important. For county government, there are really two paths forward. In the short term, we need to continue to focus on delivering core government services in an efficient manner. And in the longer term, we need to grow our tax base. This will require that we be more business friendly so that we can attract the kind of biotech and green jobs that sustain our prosperity as a county. Streamlining our county government can be done, and I was gratified that my colleagues supported my proposal to establish a government reorganization commission, whose report we will be getting shortly. When every dollar counts, we must be as efficient as possible. And just as we must get on a sustainable fiscal path, it is equally important that we make sustainable decisions when considering transportation and land use issues. That is just one reason why I am looking forward to my tenure as chair of our council's Transportation Infrastructure, Energy and Environment Committee. That's T&E for short. I am particularly excited by the prospect of moving forward on transportation issues. In my view, we are not where we need to be or where other leading local governments are when it comes to mass transit options. Our goal should be to have an innovative first-class transit system. It is the foundation to our quality of life and our economic future. In the months ahead, I will be focused on helping to usher in a new 10-year transportation plan, updating our last plan from 2002. I see this as an opportunity to refocus and recommit to better transportation options as a more desirable and more dependable approach to getting around. Recently released census data reveals that our area commuters are utilizing transit at the highest levels, and I believe this is the right moment to both continue to serve the population of current transit riders and to create better options for those who rarely or never choose to leave their cars at home. We will be looking at Metro, both the governance issues that have hampered the effectiveness of this multi-jurisdictional entity, as well as safety and quality of service concerns. Improving ride-on services, developing bus rapid transit, embracing the complete streets concept, and ensuring funding for the State Highway Transportation Fund. As the former lead on energy and environment for the Council, my commitment to these issues remains unwavering. I will continue to make sure that our county remains a national leader in the stewardship of our air, water, and land. I will insist that PEPCO improve its reliability and that the WSSC uses its resources effectively to maintain the quality of our water and the integrity of our water mains. Preserving the safety of our citizen remains a top priority for our county and for me. In my last term, I fought successfully to keep our Bethesda police station open 24 hours and to ensure that our fire and rescue operations have the resources they need to keep us safe. Finally, I am proud of the constituent services that my office provides. I have one of the very best council staffs who are ready and willing to help you, and I look forward to working together with you over the next four years. Thank you for taking the time to get acquainted with me and with my work on your behalf. Together we can meet today's challenges and preserve Montgomery County's reputation of excellence. Thank you, and thank you for this opportunity to serve you.